as you guys can see by the title I'm going to show you guys how I make a delicious German chocolate pound cake now before I get started I want to ask you guys to please go back after the video and give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing now the thumbs up and the subscription will help me to do more videos like this because that's what YouTube likes okay so right now I'm just prepping everything getting my chocolate and everything together and that coffee right there is for the chocolate because we want that boom boom pow flavor in that cake just putting all the things that need to be into the flour and the flour is swans y'all that good good flour in that box put that salt up in there and that baking soda we're just mixing that all together getting our eggs all together to make for sure we don't have any spoiled eggs before we put this stuff in this cake six eggs and three sticks of butter we ain't playing today we want everything to be good for this cake and after we get through getting all of this together we're gonna go on ahead and start with this delicious cake now y'all comment if you're gonna try this or if you even like German chocolate cake period or the cookies have y'all had the cookies before comment down below because if you haven't I can make a video about that too so y'all we got everything together so let's go ahead and start getting this cake together now with our three sticks of butter we're just gonna get that real good and creamy and start adding in our sugar in intervals take your time with making this cake don't add all that sugar at once because you want to have a delicious and soft cake and do scrape your bowl down in intervals as well that way you make for sure that you get everything well combined in this cake All of that's looking good so we're going to go ahead and scrape that down because we got to add these eggs in one at a time. And you know if more than one egg happened to fall in, guess what y'all? Leave it in there and just continue on. It's not going to hurt anything but we just want to take our time and make for sure that we get everything good and mixed in with this pound cake. Now you see there two of them fell in one monkey don't stop no show we're gonna keep on going okay so just continue to mix on and once them yolks disappear or stop looking so slippery go on ahead and add in another egg go on ahead and scrape that down a little bit and we're gonna continue on adding in our eggs once we are done with scraping it down and then we're gonna go on to the next step y'all ready for this pound cake so good now I'm not gonna use any nuts in the topping but you most definitely can put your pecans in your icing mixture I'm just going to use the coconut so now I'm just gonna go on ahead and finish off with these eggs so I can start with my dry ingredients Just add a little bit of flour at the at a time because you do not want to make it tough so just take your time with this part as well just like you did you know with the sugar just take your time And so now we're just adding a little bit of sour cream. So we're just going to start with flour and we're going to end with flour. So just do it as flour, sour cream, flour, sour cream, flour, sour cream, then flour.
this is going to end up being an absolutely beautiful mixture the batter so beautiful just scrape it on down get all that flour salt baking soda whatever may be trying to hang out by itself it must join the bar the pa <laughs> the party of the batter the batter party <laughs> my bad y'all got a little tongue tied but you know what that's all right though you know it happens okay so we're gonna go on ahead since we scrape that down and we're just gonna continue on till we are done with that flour Add in your vanilla extract and just mix that up and then we're just going to go on to the next step. Look how beautiful it is y'all just absolutely beautiful and smooth. Now we want to go ahead and add in that coffee and chocolate water mixture. Just go ahead and add that in and get that well mixed in. That will be our German chocolate, y'all. This cake, you hear me? This cake right here. Mm-hmm. You welcome. So delicious. Just go ahead and get you some ice cream if you like ice cream with your cake. And enjoy yourself. Tuck them feet up under you. Uh-huh. Curl them toes. <laughs> Because it's so good. <laughs> okay. So make for sure your pan is well greased. Y'all don't want this to stick. Go on ahead and put all of that in there. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It is good. I'm going to run my knife around here. Give it a good run. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Drop this baby in the oven. Don't that look good already? Mm-hmm. Y'all already know. So let's get this topping together. Yes, that German chocolate topping, y'all. Everything is on the screen from the cake to this topping. Just be patient and let that thing do what it do. Once it comes together like that, go on ahead and put that coconut and or them nuts in there. Sit that on to the side so that can cool down. And I did make a little ganache. Ganache is very easy. It's just heavy cream and whatever kind of chocolate, white, dark milk that you want. And just let that come together. I did mine on a double boiler. Let that just get into the middle. Yes, all of that. We're not going to waste a bit of this delicious topping. Boom. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this thing, but just look at it. Look how it just flowed down like that. I mean, all of that ain't nothing but some extra good, good, okay? Yes, put that stuff on top, y'all, That all that middle ooey gooey German chocolate topping. Go on ahead and get you a bite of this. So just go on ahead and enjoy your German chocolate milt-in-the-mouth cake. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.